Good morning, Michael Walsh here, Norwalk Farm. Uh, beautiful day here. It's uh, February the 1st on Thursday. You can see a lot of the snow is melting. Uh, we got our drive cleaned out, which helps. And uh, today is ultrasound of the second group of ewes. So uh, we'll give you an update on that. Uh, they're here still working on the house. Not many exterior changes to see, but heating and air conditioning, ventilation, they're running a lot of the duct work. Uh, electricians were here and we met with the electrician, the um, sound AV lighting person yesterday did a walkthrough and the cabinet maker was out and it was a six hour meeting. So we got a lot accomplished, but uh, probably now you won't see a lot of changes on the outside and uh, periodically I'll update you on the inside as we you know, see some changes. Basically now it's just a lot of water lines and drain tubes and some wiring started. But uh, anyway, they're making progress and uh, hopefully we'll be able to be in the house uh, in November, late November, early December this year. Lily and the puppies are continuing to do well. I moved Garrett over with Dylan <coughs> um, last night. He was challenging Lily next to the puppies so i don't know if he was trying to be possessive or what was going on but we didn't want to take a chance so she's by herself with the sheep and everything seems well uh, she readily eats her food and puppies are fat and moving around so everything looks good uh, dr riley's supposed to be here at one o'clock which is about oh, an hour and a half or so so uh, we'll update you when she gets here Puppies are eight days old today, and as I said, their pads start out pink and then turn black. And you can see there, that one's partially turned. And that one's mostly turned right there. Noses are turning black. So it takes, it usually starts around seven to ten days, and by usually two weeks of age, all the black pigment is filled in. So they're doing well. Lily's barking, obviously. I just brought her another can of food. She's eaten three this morning, so uh, we're going to give her a fourth. And uh, she's being a good mom. It's better since Garrett's not over here. She's settled down a lot. So we'll wait for Dr. Riley to come, and then we'll tune in again. It's Friday uh, Groundhog's Day, February 2nd. Puppy's doing great. Lily's there eating. Um, I tried putting her food on a piece of wood, flat piece of wood, last night, and she immediately started to bury it. So she likes it on the bedding, so that's what we do. Um, ultrasound results were really good for us. Uh, I didn't video during the ultrasound because we only had the two of us, the vet and myself. Um, the sheep, all of them. Uh, only one of the ewes didn't get bred, which they were lambs when we bred them. That's not unusual. Um, that was one of the IDFs in Ile-de-France. And then one of the Dorpers was bred, but um, she had lost a lamb and was resorbing it, so mummified, maybe it had a birth defect. You don't know, that happens. So we gave her an injection yesterday to uh, uh, help her expel that. So the results on the sheep, uh, we have six of them. This is out of 28 ewes. Uh, six are having twins. Two are open. Uh, one was pregnant and lost it, and then one's not bred, so two open. And then the balance of them are having singles, which I'm not upset with that, because on first timers, singles are good. Uh, one of the Dorpers is carrying twins. The balance of them are having singles. So, so that was a good, good outcome. The goats, um, as we said, one of the goats didn't get bred. The rest of them are, and there are, um, so there's nine bred out of ten. Four sets of twins and five singles, and they're due on the 29th. So, uh, and the sick doe, the injured one, she's doing okay. I've quit treating her. I've seen her chewing her cud, and uh, so hopefully she's going to continue to come along. We put Garrett out here with the... Uh, with Dylan and they've had a couple of scraps but uh, they're getting along and we had enough melt on the snow that I've been able to turn the electric fence back on so that was encouraging so I'm gonna go to the hay auction today uh, I sold one batch of the hay <coughs> to uh, the guy that hauls my hay for me 
Uh, he has feedlot cattle and the sheep. It looked like good hay, it was, and they thought so too. But uh, I forget the name of the grass, switch grass or something that was in it. And I didn't realize this, but it has a bitter taste. And I think that's why the sheep wouldn't eat it. So I sold it to him. Uh, there was 11 bales, and uh, so that freed up some space. And I'm going to go to the hay auction today and uh, try to get some good high-quality alfalfa. I've still got six bales left of the alfalfa. We're back from the hay auction, and there's four of the bales we got. Uh, my hay hauler, they bought, I think it was uh, 10 bales, so they brought these four back, and then they're going to go back and get the other 16, bring those down. So it's uh, pure alfalfa, fourth cut really leafy uh, really good quality hay so that'll be good so that gives me 20 bales of that I'd like to get uh, let's see that gives me 26 I'd probably like to get another 16 bales or so that'll carry us through and then the other batch of grass hay they like it but it just doesn't have the <clears throat> nutritional value for where we are and you know pregnancy and, and then lactation after they have their their lambs but the rams are eating that really well so we're going to keep them on the grass hay and then we'll just keep that grass hay uh, till next fall and uh, use that for the maintenance ration you know before they need a higher plant nutrition you can see the green ink on lamborghini's cheek there we um, tattooed him yesterday for his registration so the right ear has an ef in the right ear which stands for utopia farms and then the left year we put in a, a 10L. L is the registration year, signifies 2023. And 10 was the 10th animal that they registered on their farm. So he got that done yesterday and uh, did well. And then we're going to apply for uh, U.S. registration as well. So he'd be dual registered in Canada and the U.S. And then next, uh, next summer we hope that there you can see the green in his ear. Next year, we hope to get um, maybe four registered Suffolk ewes and uh, start a small Suffolk block, too. So our barn office so far, the new sink, water heater, fridge will slide under here once they get all that finished. And then that's the uh, boiler for the uh, radiant heat on the floor. And there is a countertop. Uh, plumber actually took it back with him. He's going to put a couple coats of polyurethane on it for us. But uh, uh, this is going to be very functional for us. And glad we got this in. We'll have hot and cold running water out here too. So uh, everything's coming along. And the uh, carpenter's finished around. Just, just a rough finish. It's pine. Uh, and then the new door. So, uh, very pleased with this. It's functional, and uh, we're going to need it at the end of this month when the, when the baby goes so, off. If you haven't, uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit the notification bell. We've actually gone over the 500 mark on our subscribers, so thank you to everyone who subscribed. Um, share this video with a friend and leave us a comment. And once again, thank you for joining us at Norwalk Farm.